Okay, so right now in Slovenia, there are basically two projects of the, the institutionalization, one on the east side, which Rana, um, and one on the west side. The Domna Krasu has acquired some funds from European Union in 2020. And um, I will just skip the thing. And the vision is <laughs> <laughs> because otherwise it's really, yes, because it's otherwise it's really long, so we're gonna be short. Um, and like the vision is to encourage the process of the institutionalization in Slovenia um, and to test innovative practices and then to spread it around and to transform the institution into the network of different community services for people with uh, mental health issues and um, intellectual disabilities. We would also like to form some services which would be for the user who, users who, who aren't even um, inhabitants of the institutions, but for the outside users. Right now, we're only doing research on how to do this. Um, and we actually want to achieve that the residents of Dona Krasu live as normally as possible. Um, and the main goals of the project are the resettlement of 70 inhabitants um, to community care. We actually have um, the money to buy the flats and houses for the resettlement of 70 inhabitants, but the process is really slow and uh, there is a lot of discrimination, etc. So we actually only bought two, um, yeah, two, two, two lands to build two houses for uh, 12 people. And uh, currently they are um, looking an, at another two houses, I think, for another 12 people or so. But um, yeah, it's really difficult currently also due to real estate or also due to discrimination and how you actually present who is going to live there, what you're looking for. So yeah, um, actually also, yeah, finding flats is, is becoming really increasingly difficult. And the prices also went up from the beginning um, and we wanted to, um, to tell the leadership that we would like to rent the flat so we could actually start you know, making concrete personal plans for people and then connecting with the community but the establishment didn't agree with that so um, that's it. Um, and we want to establish community services to educate and share residents and employees. We actually have had the at the seminar solar already and we we're going to start in September and uh, in October again. Uh, we want to establish a new organizational structure and mobile teams and reor reorganize already established housing units because we have um, eight units already, we're 58, 52, yes. something. We need to point out that um, from from 2003, the first um, dislocated unit was established in, in Susana, so quite near Dutulia, and then um, another seven, so yeah, in total there are eight uh, dislocated units in three different towns, and um, these were quite more or less successful stories also the current project manager was also the head of the five dislocated units in Susana, and you know, there the, the teamwork and other, you know, new methods were actually, you know, implemented and also with the change of leadership at, at that time also they opened some new units later. So I think in, in that aspect it is important, you know, um, what their position is on, you know, the DI or in, you know, the institutional organization in general. Yeah, we also want to raise public awareness. Um, through some events, through social networks. Now we're also gonna make an education for high school. Um, so a few seminars where also our users will um, tell stories and teach and do workshops, etc. So now this is one big thing that's happening. Um, we also want to establish community participation. We are doing um, research um, to scan the services which are on the territory and we are talking to the key um, actors um, and making connections with it, through it and um, we also want to expand employment opportunities um, for the residents. Um, right now we are only analyzing what can we do because of the COVID we couldn't actually move out and also because we 
we don't have the flats and the houses already, it's really hard to um, search for an employment in a fictitious place, you know, if you don't know where the person is going to live, it's really hard to find employment opportunities, etc. Um, and this is the constant struggle of our project because we, a lot of what we're doing is abstract because we cannot focus on the concrete or um, place. And um, the plan is to close down the institution in four years now and establish community services education and development center and also a place for the public. Um, but we'll see. And we are trying to assess these goals through the um, war groups. We have a war group for education, for settlement inno and innovative services, for employment, for reason awareness and for quality standards. Okay, um, one of the biggest challenges was COVID-19 because in 2020 um, we've been working from home a lot, like differently, like Chernat and, uh, and people who worked on the European project came and became the part of the team. Um, we were sent to work from home. Um, because of that, a lot of work couldn't be done with the users and with the staff and we are a little bit like the... <laughs> um, and um, there, and also the Domna Kras was hermetically closed for one year from the March 2020 till April 2021. Um, so we used a lot of our time to go out with the users and to provide them with support, talk and um, etc. when we were actually there. And um, the, another problem that we have already talked about is the real estate sir, because of the finances, because of the discrimination. And um, also the problem is that there is no common vision for the institutionalization. There is no spirit of the institutionalization in the house. I mean, um, there are some people who support um, this idea, but it's not like the collective um, process and we actually feel like we have to fight for every little step that we want to take. Um, and therefore there's also no elaborated strategy for closing down the main house and sometimes we are asking ourselves why did the people actually sign this project because there is no feeling that the changes want to be made. Yeah, maybe it's worth mentioning that um, we related to DI, um, the, the security unit abolished the so-called, what's called, the, the, the restraining, measure. yeah, restraining measures room um, um, years ago. So there's still a security unit. Um, we are trying also to, to find some measures or make certain plans how to how to how to close it how to not mm -hmm. validate it anymore and, and so on but there have been certain you know certain steps towards the right direction but it's taking a really long time yeah. yeah 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 nevertheless we're doing what we can we have made territorialization um, we are doing personal plans with the users and trying to do with them individually as much as we can we are publishing a newspaper, which we also have with us, but not right now. Um, we are um, trying to reorganize outside unit. We are making a lot of seminars and education, um, connecting with different services, organizing seminars and workshop and, and yeah. Yeah, but basically from what, what I saw, I think the transformation plan of Domna Kras, we seem quite similar to Cerna, mm -hmm. and it's, I think, also quite similar to Macedonia, I think, you know, also the emphasizing the emphasis is still on personal planning at, at the moment. So that's basically it. 